Hey, and welcome back to your English grammar lesson. Now today, we are going to learn all about demonstratives and articles. Yeah, fun. <laughs> But actually, very, very useful, okay? So don't feel, don't feel like this is going to be boring. Now our learning goals for this lesson are to learn about articles and learn how to tell which one, right? Which one? using a demonstrative. Okay, so let's start with articles first because that's easier. Well, in my mind it is. So an article, hmm, a, an, and the. Articles, right? A, and the, okay. Now they, right, the article goes before a noun, right? A person, a place, or a thing. So it is a thing, <laughs> right? an something, okay? A an the something. Not so bad, we understand this. A goes before a word that has a consonant letter. Do you remember those? <laughs> a consonant is not a vowel, right? So it's like B, C, D, F, all of those ones, okay? The normal ones. And the, uh, the article an goes before a noun, a word, that has the first letter is a vowel, right? So if the first letter is E, A, I, O, U, we'll use an. Yeah, <laughs> I was trying to think, why? No. <laughs> Get it together. <laughs> so. It's easier to look the other way. And goes before the vowel words, okay? The vowel noun. There's less of them to remember, and every other one is A. Okay, let's take a look at an example right here. We can see ball, girl, teacher. Those words are all consonant letter first, right? They all have a consonant, B, G, T. Those are consonants. So we use A, right? Because A just means one, yeah. A girl, one girl, one ball, a ball, ha. Huh. But then we look at the vowel letter words, right? Egg, iguana, orange, e-i-o, an egg, okay? So one egg, but an egg. We have to match that vowel consonant stuff. <laughs> so it's really not too hard. If we remember, the vowel has an an, the rest are a's. Okay, cool. Now. Here is a little trick, because I didn't tell you about the yet, did I? Ooh, I didn't. So here's my trick. The first time you talk about a noun in a sentence anywhere, you're going to use a or an, okay? The second time you talk about that same noun, the same one, you're going to use the article the, okay? So let's take a look at an example here. I have a chair. See? Chair. That's the first time I use that noun. So I say a. Consonant, right? Ka. The chair is big. It's the same chair. The second time I talk about that chair, now I use the. She has an egg. First time I talk about the egg. An egg for breakfast. The egg. That egg she just ate was delicious. It's the same egg. So see how the talks about the second time. The second time we say that noun. You're starting to see something here. Okay. Now, now, here's that part I skipped. We use the the first time, okay? We only use the the first time we talk about a noun if, if. That noun is specific or special, right? So I'll give you an example. A camera, okay? A camera. But I'm gonna make it specific now. The Fujifilm camera. I know exactly which camera. It's a specific camera, the Fujifilm camera, okay? So if we Mm. If it's a special noun or a specific noun, we know stuff about that noun, then we use the article the. Otherwise, we use a or an for the first time. Hmm. So let's take a look at an example with the. I just gave you one with the camera, 
right? Because I told you about the camera. The red BMW is not mine, right? We know exactly which BMW it is, right? We're, maybe you're telling a friend, I'm standing here, we are looking at a red BMW. <laughs> it's not mine. The BMW is not mine. So we know specifically, exactly, okay? Let's do a practice sentence, okay? So our subject is baby elephant. Ooh, it's going to be a winner, right? <laughs> our verb is be, and it's in the present tense. So let's take a look at the sentence here. The baby elephant. Why? Why do we know it's the baby elephant? We're looking at the video, right? Here. <laughs> We're looking at the video of the baby elephant and a bunch of elephants. How did we know it was the baby elephant? There's one. There is only one that we can see. So everyone who sees the elephant knows it's that elephant, right? It's the baby elephant. It's very specific, okay? If there were more than one baby elephants in this video, it wouldn't be that, right? We would have to describe a specific one to use the article the. Hmm. Now, we knew exactly which baby it was. That's why we could use the. Now, let's try the other thing. We learned about articles. That's not so bad, right? That's not so bad. But now we're gonna learn about demonstratives. Now, what are they? <laughs> they sound evil and mean, demonstratives. They're not, they're not, they're really not. They are adjectives that tell which one. Yeah, which one? I'll show you how. We have four demonstratives, right? We have this, that, these, those. And you can already tell based on my finger. It's this, that, these, those. You know what they mean already, right? These are demonstrative adjectives. They tell us which, which one I'm talking about, okay? This and these are for things that are close, okay? They're really close to the person who's speaking or talking. This is one, right? So we say, this phone, okay? But then, these phones, right? These things, many things that are close. Oh, okay. So that's not so bad. That and those are for things far away. How far? <laughs> it's always a question. After some practice, you kind of realize this imaginary distance where you can say oh, this and then you can say that, okay? It's, it's understood by the person you're speaking to, which that, how far away it is. But that and those are just further away than anything close, okay? So that means one thing far away and those means many things far away. Let's try it with a sample sentence here. Our subject is she, verb is put, and the demonstrative we use is this. Hmm. She put the plant, we know which plant, so we said the, okay? It's not a plant, she's moving a specific plant, the plant, right? She put the plant where? Where? In this pot. Ah, we know which pot. It's this one right here. Because in the video, she's not reaching far away to a pot over there. There is no far away pot, so it can't be that. Hmm. So now if we break it into our parts, who, she, what, put, what, the plant, where, in the pot. Okay, let's try another one. Our subject is soccer player and our verb is kick. The demonstrative, we have a choice. This or that. Let's take a look at this video and decide which one are we going to use. Ready? The soccer player. See, our article, the, is on soccer player. Why? Because we know which one. We know who it is. The soccer player kicked this ball. See, there's only one ball in the video and it's right next to us. This ball, where? into that, 
that goal, like far away, okay? So we can tell from the video exactly where these things are and use the correct demonstrative. That's usually how it works. So when we break it down, who, the soccer player, what? Kick the ball, where? Into the goal, that goal, sorry. <laughs> okay, so those were for singular things. They were for singular nouns, this, that, okay? But what about plural ones? Oh, let's try the plural form with this one. Our subject is strawberries. Mm. Our verb is look. And our demonstrative is these, okay? So let's take a look at my sentence here. These, right, you can see them right here. These strawberries look delicious. These strawberries look, hmm, I love strawberries. But they're very close to me. So it's many close, these strawberries. That's not bad, right? And it's even easier to break this one. What? These strawberries. What? Look delicious. Ah, okay. Let's try another one, okay? Our subject is stars, as you can see in the video. <laughs> our verb is be. It's a be verb, which means we have to change it. And our demonstrative is these or those. You have to choose. Let's take a look at the sentence. Well, stars, those are far away, right? <laughs> so, those stars are so far away from Earth. Earth is the planet we live on, yeah. So you can tell it's far, far, far away. What? Those stars. What? Yeah, what about them? They're so far away. Ah, oh, where? Far from Earth, right? They're far from Earth. Okay, this isn't so hard. Demonstratives are pretty easy, right? We just have a singular form and a plural form for a close or a far away thing, yeah. And articles were pretty easy, too. So how do we use a, an, and the? Right? How do we use them? Well, if the first time, if it is the first time we see this noun, we say this noun, okay? If it's the first time, we use a before a noun that starts with a consonant. And we use an before a noun that starts with a vowel. Ah, a, i, o, u. See? It's easier to remember the an vowel part because the rest are a. Now, if that noun is special or specific, right? Right. It's not just. It's not just um, school, right? It's the green screen school, <laughs> okay? <laughs> right. We know a specific name. If it's a specific or special noun, or, or. It is the second time we talk about it, right? Then, what was that? Did you hear that? <laughs> if it's the second time we talk about it, then we use the article the, okay? Special noun, a camera, the Fujifilm camera, <laughs> okay? Special, specific noun. So, what are demonstratives? Well, a demonstrative is an adjective that tells you which one. I don't know. Now, this is for a singular noun that is close to the speaker, and these are for plural ones that are close to the speaker. Now, if it's far away, right? If it's far away, that is for a far away singular noun, and those is for far away Plural nouns. Hmm. I think we should practice. I think you're ready. So, in our practice today, I want you to choose the correct demonstrative and in those blank spots, I want you to write the correct article and think, is this something, is this noun a thing I know about, one I could find or something like that? I want you to pause the video now, do your answers, and then we'll come back and check them, okay? Okay, now I am sure that you have paused the video and put your answers down. If not, right? I do this every time. And I didn't see who that was or what that sound was, so it's a ghost. <laughs> Let's check our answers. Are you ready? Here we go. Number one, the girl is playing. We know which one. She's playing, 
right? The girl is playing how? With this soccer ball. Soccer ball is singular, so it couldn't be these. These is plural, so it had to be this. Sometimes in these questions we have process of elimination. We can say that this word's really wrong. So it can't be this one. This is the answer. Okay? Number two, cars, plural. This, singular. Mm. No. Those cars, what? Drive where? On a dirt track. There's no specific dirt track. We don't know which track. There's no name. And we know that it's very not specific because we, it says why. Why they drive on a dirt track. To race. Right? So we explained that noun, dirt track, even more. So Because it wasn't specific. We had to add extra detail. Number three. I see a small toy. Singular. Right? So it's not specific. We don't know the color, size, shape, anything. So it's a, a small toy, right? I see a small toy where? Under. Where? I see it under something specific. The sofa, right? I know where it is. I know where the sofa is because I see something under it. Okay, number four. I want egg. Well, that's a goofy one, right? It could be an or the. It's the first time. An egg, yeah. I want an egg. And sausages. Plural. That, singular. It had to be those. And those sausages, where? Remember? On, in, at. That's where. We know that because we know where. So it's the counter, right? I want those sausages on the counter. I do too. <laughs> Number five. The peanut butter is on the shelf. Why is it the peanut butter? Because it's something we're looking for. It's not just butter. It's a special kind of butter. Peanut butter. The peanut butter is where, so we know it's the, right? Because it's a where. The shelf in, it's where again, so the cabinet. See, that's why I like those question words to break sentences, All right? You can see the patterns easier that way. Number six, candies. Uh-oh, these is plural and those is plural. <gasps> candies right here, these. These candies right here are mine. And, uh-oh, plural again, those or these over there, ah, those. And those over there are yours. Look at that, look at that. Questions like this are pretty easy, aren't they? So, I hope you understand demonstratives and articles. <laughs> if you have any questions, let me know. Send me a message, leave me a comment. Write your answers down so I can check them. I want to see. <laughs> I'll see you next time, okay? Bye.